Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be talking about what is non keyword arguments and keyword arguments in Python. Okay, so I have written a short note over here and I have written like in Python, we can pass a variable number of arguments to a function using a special symbol. There are two special symbol that is asterisk arguments and double asterisk kw argument that is kw means keyword arguments and a normal arg means non keyword arguments right and we use uh, asterisk keyword uh, as asterisk arguments and uh, double asterisk kw args as an argument in a function when we are unsure when we do not know how many argument we have to pass in a function so what does it mean is that suppose you are creating a function of adding adding uh, a numbers right so generally what we do we you know we can pass let's say i am passing here two numbers and what i am doing i am just you know returning returning a plus b cool and here what i am doing oops yeah i am printing and i am calling this function with parameter let's say five and six so the what is the sum of this the sum will be 11 cool so if i just you know uh, open this window then you can see the sum is 11 now see you are the user and you are passing and you want to add two number i am saying like i am a user i want to pass like you know th uh, i i want to add add some of three numbers then what i can do i have to change this and write and i have to write like this and here let's say i am i want to add these three numbers five six uh, five six and one then then the sum will be 12 right suppose tomorrow if i comes and i need to do the summation of you know let's say 10 number then again i have to change the definition of my function right that is not good cool that is not good to change every time that's why this this comes in a picture star uh, arguments right so how i can achieve it so what i'll do i'll just create a same function let's say and here i will pass asterisk args cool and here what i'll do see i'll i'll show you what the type of this this is the type of list i believe cool asterisk is not required and then what i can do i can simply return sum of l sorry hey, sum of arcs right so return sum of l right and i'll just call this function sum of uh let's say one comma two comma three comma four or uh, not like this i will use the same input let's say five comma six comma one cool five comma six comma one cool and if i run this now then you can see it will oops oops, oops sorry my bad why it is return some maximum recursion depth actually the object no uh, one minute sum of argument right so why it is not getting printed let me comment this and let me run this now 5,6 I am not using any loop so why it is printing these many times no something went wrong uh, let me copy this and let me refresh this page since it is an online compiler might be this is the issue so we'll see sum of args 5 comma 6 okay so what i can do here no for i can write like this and i can print here i right so if i do it now then you can see i will be getting 561 cool 561 i am getting uh, right and the same thing i can do you know i the same thing i can do i can uh, uh, put it over here let's say uh, s is equal to s plus s plus one s plus i right and what i can do i can i can i can 
initialize a value of s with 0 so if i run this then you can see the output is and i i did not return it so if i just return s then you can see the output will be like 11 right uh, sorry the output is 12 the sum of these two these three numbers so if i want to increase it i can you know increase the numbers like this like this and if i just run this then you can see still i am getting this 34 so what the, why why it was failing because you know the uh, tuple it is tuple right and tuple does not have any uh, some function i believe that's the reason it was getting failed and it was getting you know uh, in a loop so that's that's what you know uh, the this um, uh, this arguments works now we have kw argument that is keywords argument how we can use of it let's see so see what i can do i can write a new function let's say def of fun and here what i will do i will um, pass this k you can even you know use any other keyword also you know i mean the the main thing is that you have to use double asterisk sign symbol cool here what i can do i can pass like this for let's say key and value something like this and from uh, my uh, uh, key arguments dot items because it, it it returns i mean it gives a dictionary cool and here what i can do i can pass like this key spaces value cool and what i can do i can call this function not print right fun of what let's say first underscore name is equal to my name right and second name last underscore name is equal to some other name let's say my my name only prajapati cool so if i run this then you can see it will print like you know uh, sorry for i in range for i in this yeah now you can see first name is sagar and last name is prajapati so what does it mean that it is it is printing on a uh, key i mean on an argument on the on, on the position basis okay the so first name and this is the last name even though you know if you do not want wish to do like this and if you want to just print uh, first name you know i mean so what i can do what i can do you can simply write like this first name oops no see uh, let me just first print it like this so that you will understand type so what is the type of this the type of this is dictionary oh dictionary right so dictionary and what i want to do see if i try to just print it over here now see if i just try to print this k argument then you can see it is printing like this now what i'm what i am asking you that hey dude i need first name i need last name okay so how you can do that simple about right like this print k arcs dot not dot first name print who said that you need uh you need uh, a loop right cool just run this then you can see sagar prajapati will be printed over here cool now we have seen that's arguments and uh, k ar ar arguments right now what i will do i will try to uh, uh, use the same thing like you know what i can do i can create a new function let's say fun underscore one and here i will pass let's say a comma b right so this is just a two parameters and after that what i am saying that you can pass number of arguments you know you can pass number of arguments so i can pass like this and here what i can do i can print a plus b right this is mandatory and then i can also you know uh, i can then uh, print uh, number of arguments it, it is given over here right so i can you know i can write like this for i in the the the, the same thing what i have you know uh, told you before like this and print uh, i right and what i'll do i'll just uh, <coughs> i just print not print print is not needed uh fun underscore one is needed and here i will pass like three comma four and some arguments so argument boleto one two three four five something like that and if i just print it then you can see first seven will be printed because the sum of this three and four will be seven and then these many you know one by one it is getting printed cool now this is the combination of a normal parameters and the arguments right now with this also i can i can uh, add k 
KW asks, cool. Now here, what does it mean is that I am passing some uh, parameterized, I mean, some positional arguments so or some keywords argument. So here also, while calling the function, I have to actually pass let's say i'm passing first name is equal to saga same cheese same thing right and last name is equal to prajapati cool and doom so here what i can do i can print the same 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 what does it mean like this dot not dot first name and same copy it and then paste it over here see so why it is important right when you uh, work on a function and you do not you do not know like how many parameters it is required right then this function is uh, needed right so i can uh, some write some function so that some message so that you will understand and here uh, let's say uh, normal cool not like this this and then this cool you will understand some seven the normal one two three four five and then my name and my last name cool so this is the way how you can use arguments and i mean non keyword arguments and keyword arguments and with the normal arguments also right and apart from this anything is required i think i don't think so i have covered all, almost all and if you are someone very fresher in in python and want to learn you know uh, some basic or maybe the advanced things then you can uh, take my course and roll into my course of uh, master in python with data structure and algorithms we have covered almost all the things over here you can see the first module will be like install python how we can set up an environment how we can install the python and so and then in module one you can see or we can say module two we have covered almost all the things over here right like what is variable what is flow control between data structure and then functions how many type of arguments we have it and scope in python use of global non-local keywords oops concepts strings and so on so on right in module 2 also we have covered al algorithm parts and data structure part right what are algorithms what how we can uh, find out the time and space complexity searching algorithm sorting algorithms and so on and in module 3 also we will be working on it and here the sum of i mean it, here we will be solving some set of problems de uh, depend on you know uh, depend on the in, de depend on in interview in interview perspective right if you can see till now we have added two and we'll be adding like around 15 to 20 problems over here and then in module 4 we'll be working on real time scenarios framework in data engineering right so if if i mean if you are very fresher and if you do not know python much then you can take this course i definitely show that you will learn something new over here and something excited exciting right and uh, yeah till now uh, till till then i i think we are okay and we will be meet you we will meet you in the next lecture till then bye bye thank you